Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that Paris FC team's keenness to hold on to the victorious Bahrain slogan in reaching League One of the championship is a motivation to continue supporting the team to achieve its goals. His Highness noted that Paris FC's tie with Rhodes Aveyron 2-2 in the French League 2 and praised the team's continuous achievements in their matches, indicating that playing nine games without losing affirms the team's intentions to achieve the desired goals. His Highness pointed that the victorious Bahrain slogan has become a milestone in the French League 2, highlighting the pleasure in seeing the kingdom's name in European leagues. He wished the team success in its next match against Clermont. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting presided over by its chairman Ali Saleh. The council approved decree by Law 32 of 2020 on the regulation of registration, safety and monitoring of small vessels. The council also approved the recommendations of the Public Facilities and Environment Committee on amending a number of provisions of decree by Law 20 of 2020 on regulating fishing, exploitation and protection of marine life. The Minister of Labour and Social Development and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Ahmedan, chaired al Mare's Board of Directors meeting. The Minister stressed the importance of stimulating the national economy in order to create more quality job opportunities for citizens, as it is the first choice when hiring. He noted the need for cooperation between the three production parties to achieve the government's vision and aspiration for creating sustainable economic and social security in Bahrain. The minister stated that El Amare continues to support the competitiveness of the national economy and its ability to adapt to different circumstances as the authority works to implement a package of projects and procedures regulating the market in coordination with representatives of the productive sectors. The ambassador of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in the virtual forum hosted by the Institute of Politics of Harvard University, which was entitled The Abraham Accords, A Pathway to Peace with Economic Prosperity. The ambassador affirmed that Bahrain is an important ally to the U.S. He also noted that Bahrain is committed to maintaining regional and international security, stressing that peacemaking is the kingdom's strategic choice. The ambassador also referred in his speech to the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which had a fundamental role in the important historical step to sign the Abraham Accords declaration with Israel. He added that relations between Bahrain and Israel are undergoing cooperation in various economic, environmental and technical fields. Regarding the peace process in the Middle East, the ambassador clarified that the government of Bahrain remains committed to the Arab Peace Initiative and the two-state solution leading to the establishment of an independent Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital, and that the historic step taken by Bahrain aims to bring the region closer to achieving a just and comprehensive peace. The Northern Governorate held a virtual Ramadan Majlis in the presence of the Northern Governor Ali bin Sheikh Abdul Hussein Al Asfur and a number of representatives and citizens. The Governor stressed the importance of raising community awareness and joining the vaccination campaign in cooperation with the Ministry of Health in support of the efforts exerted by the National Medical Task Force for combating COVID-19 and the frontliners. He urged four collective efforts to promote the second edition of the National Employment Program, which aims to provide 25,000 jobs and 10,000 training opportunities. The Assistant Undersecretary for Islamic Affairs, Mohammed Al Ghattan, stressed the endeavors of the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments to create a supportive and stimulating environment for charitable work and collect funds for religious purposes in an official and organized framework characterized by ch clarity, transparency, responsibility, and legitimacy. Al Ghattan said that the fundraising office has issued 138 permits to collect money for religious purposes, including 126 permits within Bahrain and the others to receive money from abroad or to send money abroad.
An awareness campaign has been launched to confirm the necessity of adherence to the requirements for collecting money for religious purposes by highlighting the decree law on organizing the collection of money for public purposes and its execution regulations and stating the role of the Office of, for Registering Requests to collect money for religious purposes. The campaign also aims to educate society about the requirements set by the law to protect communities and ensure their rights and to inform the relevant parties of their duties. The Shura Council's second deputy president, Jamila Salman, took part in the 37th session of the committee in charge of consolidating respect of the international humanitarian law held remotely. She affirmed that Bahrain proved its humanitarian and international commitment, as well as its progress in the field of human rights, as a result of the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, which was evident through the achievements made as a result of the efforts exerted by Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa to combat the coronavirus. The police and security directorates concerned with the efforts to ensure commitment to precautionary measures to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus affirmed the importance of committing to all regulations issued by the medical task force to combat the coronavirus through changing some social behavioral patterns during the holy month of Ramadan. The police directorates of the kingdom's four governorates emphasize the importance of adhering to all regulations, such as avoiding gatherings and visits, as well as the regulations concerned with mosques, stressing that community awareness is key to overcoming the pandemic. The police directorates continue to launch awareness campaigns in addition to law enforcement campaigns. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 591,761 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 463,289 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 11,148 with 1,107 recoveries, 1,024 registered new cases and three deaths. 387 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 595 are contacts of active cases and 42 are travel related. The deceased were two citizens and one expatriate. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.